nice to get that first one out of the way. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, for sure. You looked like you were just, it was like a, another exhibition game out there. Was, was, was the inside matching the outside? A little bit. Uh, I, I kind of talked to myself before the game. I wanted to just make sure I was cool, calm, and composed. I wanted to just kind of provide a good example for our guys. But uh, it, was, it was surreal out there, man. It was fun. It was, uh, it was great. I thought we were really prepared. And uh, credit to our guys. They, they did a great job performing tonight. You guys passing more than you did last year or less or about the same? I think a little more. You know, we played around Frankie so much offensively and we mm -hmm. played with the ball in his hands. Uh, so you saw a team last year that played a lot of the pick and roll. Whereas Jamari Bouye, he's more of a transition player. We want to get him out. And he's super unselfish, always makes the right play. Guys like Charles are facilitating more. Josh Coonan's a great passer out of the high post. And uh, uh, we just have a really unselfish team. To have Josh Cunin start as a true freshman yeah. uh, in the post, that's a big ask, even against a D2 team. Sure. How do you think he performed? He did a great job. Uh, you know, as every freshman, they're going to have growing pains. And uh, his, his thing will be just taking a little bit of care of the ball, slowing himself down. But uh, he, he's so versatile defensively. He does a great job on the glass. And uh, our guys really enjoy playing with him because he's so unselfish. So I thought, I thought overall he did, a, he did a fantastic job. And I think he's just going to get more and more comfortable. Shabazz, five threes. He hasn't played basketball in, he said, 613 days. Yeah. For him to come out like that as like your fifth and a half -th man, I sure. can't even really say sixth man, uh, for him to come out and do that, how, uh, how, how gratifying is that given the amount that you worked with him over the offseason? He, uh, you know, Khalil's, he's a phenomenal player, first of all, and, and he really is. He, we could start him and he'd be just fine. Um, he, he's really, really impactful. And I've talked to him before in front of the team, and so he, when he comes in, he's going to change the game every night because he's a great full court defender, does a great job uh, just kind of bothering the ball handler and really just affecting the way they start their offense. And, uh, you know, he obviously can shoot the ball really well. He's, a, he's kind of a quick twitch scorer, does a great job getting a shot off. And uh, I think he's going, to, he's going to be really impactful and do a great job for us this year. Charles said, you know, it's, it's, he scored his average tonight. He's yeah. Like, there are going to be a lot more that are. Better than that, what do you expect out of him? Uh, yeah, I, the, the best defense played on Charles tonight was by me not playing him more minutes. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, tonight had the feel where I, Charles could have done, you know, a lot more damage if he played more minutes, but it was more about getting some of these younger guys opportunities to kind of shake the rust off as they get out there. Um, he's going to have a fantastic year. Uh, I'm, I'm really, okay, I think he's going to, he'll probably lead us in scoring, take a come down, probably lead us in scoring. And uh, he's just been really taking on that leadership role uh, been unselfish and, and uh, sky's the limit for him this year for sure. You got everybody in, right? Or almost everybody. Yeah, in. everybody that was that was healthy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Who, who wasn't healthy? Isaiah Hawthorne's dealing with some back stuff right now. Okay. Um, he, you know, he's day to day. I'm not sure if he'll be ready to go on Saturday, uh, but he's been fighting some things in in the fall. So just getting his body right is really important for him. But everybody that was healthy and eligible played tonight. After you, you, it seemed like the facade broke down here as you and the coaches came out of the locker yeah. room and you're like, wow, all right, yes. Yeah. You were able to, to do a little dance a little bit. Yeah. What, what was that feel like to actually let go? You know, it was, uh, <laughs> it, was, it was awesome because, you know, our staff has worked so diligently to kind of get this thing, just, or not get this thing, but keep it going as it was, mm -hmm. uh, starting with last spring. And, uh, you know, Mamadou Njai and Vinny McGee have been great additions to our group, uh, Jason Greenfield as well. And then the rest of the guys who I was able to retain, they've just taken such pride in making sure that this program continues to go in the right way. And uh, honestly, I, I just, I'm happy for them as well to be a part of this as, as we get it going. All right. Thanks, Coach. You got it. Appreciate Thanks, Ryan. It. Appreciate you, man. Congrats. Yeah. We'll see you soon. See you, kiddo.